Okay, today we're checking out our scope. What? Where's the scan tool? Huh, is it in my pocket? I don't know what I did with the scan tool. Gorilla glue. Microphones. Okay. Oh, here it is. Hey everyone, this is Tom with Fresh Vintage Garage. Today we're checking out another awesome X-Tool product from the family of X-Tool products. We'd like to thank them for sending us over and sponsoring this video. Today we're specifically looking at, not the big guys here, but the little guy here, the AnyScan A30M. Really nice handy little Bluetooth scan tool. And uh, I'm going to pull this out. Not much to see here. Paperwork's inside, but I'll just set this over here. This is the actual scan tool, and if you have yourself an Android or iOS smartphone, boom, you have yourself a scan tool between the two. Uh, plugs right into the OBD2 port on the car. Does a lot of the usual suspects, so to speak. OBD2 code reading, live data graphing, a bunch of reset functions, maintenance functions, like oil reset, diesel particulate filter, parking brake uh, reset, steering angle sensor, and a whole host of other things. Uh, Really neat to see little feature here is it has a built-in light and if you're under the dash fishing around looking for the OBD2 port, this is a no-brainer and honestly I would just quickly call out every other manufacturer of these in the entire world. This is something you need to add into your little Bluetooth dongle because this is a fantastic little feature. With that, we're going to go out and see all of the little odds and ends. Like, I think this does bi-directional control and stuff like that. So we're going to go out and scan a car and see what all we can do with this. Let's go do that right now. We are in my 2005 Honda CRV, and we have successfully downloaded the Xtool app, and we have the unit plugged in down here on the OBD2 port. A few quick things. Uh, downloaded the app. You do have to register it. You'll need the serial number and activation number, which is on that little piece of paper that comes with the scan tool in the box. But once we did all that, it's up and running. You can see we have a bunch of updates, which we didn't do. But I'm going to take this and just set it right here so we can look at it. And we did do a few updates here. We went into Honda because it's a Honda CRV, obviously. And we downloaded that. So let's actually click through here see what comes up so a few things in here automatic scan it'll go through every system in the car and I'm gonna hit that I'm just gonna make a quick note that system selection is the manualized version of that if I hit this and then this is going to say let's go through every system that's programmed into the actual software for this X tool unit the hot system scan is I'm gonna click on this one and while it's searching this is actually going through the car and finding the modules and communicating with everything in the car and saying these are all the hot systems that actually exist in this year make and model and trim level so to speak so we'll let this run you can see on the side here it's at 5 of 10 so we'll let this run through and get to 10 to 10 and then we'll come back and go through the each system here all right we have everything and looking at this, we have a failure in the engine, so we'll look at that in a second. Then SRS, so let's click on the failure here. Okay, so we're going to click Diagnose because that's actually how you access this. And in here, you can do a few different things. We can read our trouble code. Let's go in here and read this. This is the actual OBD2 codes. Okay, so I have a few things going on here. I have an O2 sensor issue, it looks like, which is at P0420. And then this is saying catalyst deterioration. So I'm not super excited to see that because it probably needs, means I need a new catalytic converter. But uh, if you wanted to, you could actually clear your codes right here. And then in here, let's read the ECU information. So there's my ECU information. If we were actually freeze framing data and actually look live data streams, we could read that here and view that here. Let's see what the actuation test does. Let's see here. Oh, okay, so there's a bunch of different actuation tests here. If we wanted to, well, just for fun, let's see if we can hear the fans kick on. Turn them on. There they are. Really neat feature there if you want to mess with your friends. If nothing else, like, hey, your car's doing weird stuff. But 
Um, all joking aside, really cool to actually see all of this stuff in here because there's a lot. There's EGR valve test, idle adjustment. So there's a lot of capability in this uh, software. Looking at the live data here, all the usual suspects, uh, engine speed, and let's just click a few of these here. Uh, some of these, um, I did want to find the air fuel ratio. There we go. Let me go ahead and turn this on. And so we can see our air fuel ratio. That's good. It's rated 14 there. And there's our engine RPM. I'm going to hit custom. And then I'm going to hit combine. And what this does is actually graphs this out. It takes a second or two but you can start seeing the different data points. So if you're trying to chase an issue or maybe a sensor that's slowly going wonky, you can compare them to see which one's working right and which one might be giving like partially bad readings. I'm gonna hit the gas just so you can see this jump around a little bit. There we go. Really, really cool to see this level of capability in such a small unit. I'm gonna hit exit. Forgive me, I'm gonna turn the car off and then it'll beep. There we go. Now let me go ahead and I'm just going to back all the way out here. Everything else here we went through. Let's go to, let me just keep backing out here. There we go. And the main screen here, I wanted to show you, there's a ton of updates in here and I won't spend more than literally two seconds in here. You can see all, if I hit the update all, this thing would sit here and update. But the reason I mention that is we found just all of these in a matter of like 30 seconds. We found all of these in that update section. So all of your maintenance items, parking brake reset, oil reset, all of this we quickly found in the updates. So I would say when you do purchase this, make sure you spend the time to get into your updates and get those properly set up because we found tons of this stuff within a matter of probably a minute we downloaded all that. The report section here is if you actually had a uh, shop situation, you wanted to report out to a customer and say, hey, here's what's going on with the car, here's the, the check engine light codes that we found, and suggested repairs and so on and so forth. You could actually email that or share as a PDF. Pretty powerful in this uh, little, little unit here. And uh, one other quick thing, the settings, pretty cut and dry. We actually had to go in and connect to the scan tool right here to the A30M. So this was a little bit wonky, but uh, it worked out in the end. So I was, I was happy that it, that it functioned that way. So wrapping things up here, the A30M X-Tool scan tool, really nice unit, decent unit. Uh, the software worked well. The light here, I really, really like the fact that that light will help you see underneath the dash. That's a really, I'm surprised more tools do not have that. Uh, Decent software worked well. Everything seemed to function pretty well. I would say give this a thumbs up, worth you know looking at and uh, making the informed decision and buying and seeing if it's the right tool for you. With that, if you like uh, shop tools, if you like skiing tools, if you like keeping your ride certified fresh, Fresh Vintage Garage is your channel. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.